info is satisfactory, Senator Chambers. Good, good. I think we found the right planet for a galactic spaceship station. All, all that measuring and stuff. What, what's going on? That's the hombre from the Galactic Council who's testing for a new spaceship station at Valkyria. Now, if I could steal some of those fighter spaceships when they land at the station... Yeah, yeah! I could take on half the galaxy! Right! Uh, but, uh, how you gonna do that? How else? By tricking everybody into thinking I'm a good guy. Huh? Go round up some dingoes. Tell them to make a fake attack on this hombre. So I can come to the rescue. <laughs> well, uh, testing ought to be finished by now. But can't you find out what, what's happening out there? Maybe. What's happening out there is trouble. Come on, big partner. Let's move. we get this hombre good and scared, Tex will show up and play the hero. Let's go! Bandits, quick, take cover! Senator is scared still. Time for good old Tex Hanks to come to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, yeah! You thieving varmint! Leave him alone! Get! Leave all his people alone! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Everything all right here? Yeah, where? We're fine, <laughs> thanks to you. All right, you snake. Fun and games time is over. Why, Marshall, how come you always think I'm doing something wrong? Because you always are. Well, if, if you just let me explain. You'll explain in jail. Now, now, hold it, Marshall, hold it. This man saved our lives. He what? Tex Hanks, at your service, sir. Now, might I escort you back to town? Senator Chambers, I don't think... Please, Marshal, this gentleman, Mr. Tex Hex, will see me safely back to town. Hmm, gentlemen. Never mind, part. Let's go. Well, Mr. Mayor, my tests are all finished, and I intend to ask the council to make Fort Curium the home of a new fighter spaceship base. Oh, wonderful! It's a great day for our fair city. It will be necessary, however, for the marshal to escort the fighter ships to New Texas. Wait, you mean that Brave Star would have to be gone for days at a time? Exactly. Don't rightly see how I can do that, Senator Chambers. My job is to guard Fort Carrium and its citizens. He's right. Fort Carrium is under constant threat from Tex Hex. Without Brave Star, we... we... Tex Hex a threat? Why, hardly. He's a hero. If it weren't for him coming to my rescue... Right! Would you stop that, please? I believe it's time we all put personal considerations aside. We must think of the good of Fort Carrium. Right. And I suggest you start doing it, Mr. Mayor, because there's one thing that's never been good for this town, and that's Tex Hex. And you know it. You obviously can't control your marshal, Mr. Mayor. Well, uh, he's a 
It's headstrong. The Galactic Council might be willing to order Brave Star to escort the fighter ships, but only if you can guarantee there'll be no trouble in town while Brave Star's away. Hmm, no trouble. Well, uh, uh, what if we got a promise from Tex that he'll be good? A, a written promise. Mm, might do it, but what if there's other trouble while the Marshal's away? Well, of course, we have um, Deputy Fudge. He'll be in charge while Brave Star's away. Oh, oh dear. Brave Star! Everything's working out just fine. I gave Senator Chambers my signed promise not to cause any trouble while Brave Star's away. You, you signed a promise not to cause trouble? <laughs> I'll promise him anything if it'll get Bravestar out of town. So remember, don't cause any problems around town with Bravestar. Dirty 30 or Fuzz. Even Fuzz? Even Fuzz, Fuzz. <laughs> Those greedy fools will believe anything if they think there's something in it for them. <laughs> Is that as soon as that base is finished, those fighter ships will be mine! <laughs> well, the spaceship base will be finished tomorrow, and the first fighter ship arrives the next day. I know. Senator Chambers is gonna ask me to leave with it. What are you going to do? I'll do what's right for the citizens of Fort Garium. <laughs> Storm, I got a job for you. Pretty soon now, folks, and the first fighter ship will be here. Marshal, the Galactic Council has ordered you to report for instruction. Now, when the fighter spaceship arrives, you will board it for transportation back to Galaxy Headquarters. No, I can't do that. What? You dare to say no to a Galactic Senator? I want the Marshal held here until the spaceship arrives. Hold the marshal, not me. Is he kidding? We'll be happy to hold the marshal. We'll make sure your orders are carried out, sir. You in what army, Tex? Thank you, sir. A marshal, resist and you'll be in more trouble than you've ever had. Oh, don't worry, sir. I will personally take care of Marshal Bravestar. Come on, boys. Let's see that the marshal is a good boy. Shaman. Brave Star, I am here. Why do you not free yourself with the strength of the bear? I will, when it's time. First, I must find out what evilness Tex is planning. I understand. What is it you need? Your wisdom. Why did the townspeople accept Tex Hex's promise to be good, when all must know in their hearts he'll betray them? Because of wishful thinking, and because of greed. Greed? Do you remember another day? A day when we walked in the woods? Look, Shaman! A spider web! A little fly just wanted its breakfast. Didn't know any better. Mm, the spider does not give up. See? He spins another web. Oh, no! The fly is back! It's doing it again! It should know better. It should, but it is greedy. It really wants that berry. The people of Fort Garium are like that fly. 
they want something so much that they close their minds to what they don't want to know. And the spider is Tex Hex, waiting to catch the people. Exactly. Because those who have become greedy don't want to think, even though in their hearts they know better. Like Mayor Derringer and the other townspeople who were so quick to believe Tex Hex. <laughs> I'll have you out of there in a flash, Marshal. Not yet, big partner. Tex is still spinning his web. Let's make sure he catches himself in it this time. Bravestar can't make a move while he's locked up in those carrier chains. You ready to blow up a storm? Hey, don't call me Sandstorm for nothing. <laughs> the fighter spaceship is on final approach. It has reduced speed, and it will land at the new Fort Carrium spaceship base in a few minutes. Ears of the wolf! The wolf. The wolf. <laughs> What is it? The fighter spaceship. It's almost here. If Tex is going to make his move, now's the time. What's that cloud? Just a summer sandstorm, folks. No problem. The spaceship will dock at our new base any minute. Control. We're being pulled away from the base. Hey, it ain't stopping. I don't understand. Why is it going right past? The beacon's disappeared. The ship can't land without it. The beacon, it's gone. Time for action. Strength of the bear! bear. Tex has stolen the beacon. The space fighter's headed straight for the hexagon. And so am I. Meet me there. Speed of the Puma! 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 Star, star, he's coming in! Last! How'd he get loose from those force chains? Keep him pinned down! I'm gonna get that fighter ship working for us! What's Tex done with that spaceship? Hey, none of your bad business! A little sleepy dust will take care of you. The controls still aren't working and I... <sighs> Sleepy dust never fails. Look out! Raystar, are 
Are you all right? Yep. Now I'm starting to get mad. <laughs> Three, three against one? I mean, I'm not stupid. I'm getting out of here. Hold it. I'm gonna get in there. Gotta move this ship to somewhere it's safe. Give up, Tex. We've got you now. It's all over. Not if I get control of this fighter. Come on, Sarah Jane, let's do some stomping. 30 30, no! There are innocent people in that ship. Uh oh. Down! <laughs> Texas got control of the ship. Good! Light chains released! Now, I gotta find the right control buttons. <laughs> Okay, Brave Star, now you're gonna get yours. Somehow, Tex has started the Mega Jets. I gotta stop him. Fast! Stay here. <laughs> Never had so much fun in my life. If I can just grab that tail. may not be good, but he sure is lucky. You mean he's all right? <laughs> he's too ornery to get hurt. <laughs> Attention, this is Captain Whiting. We're ready to return to our galactic base. Thanks for the helping hand. Ship stolen and then caught and thrown around and well, this is ridiculous. I made a mistake trusting that Tex Hex all right, but my first mistake was coming here at all. We can't risk our ships to a crazy planet like this. So, no space fighter station. Not for now, anyway. Well, maybe it's for the best. Maybe we did get too greedy. Brave Star, I guess I ought to thank you. Wonder what we should do about the spaceship pylon. Not much use for it now. I say just leave it for a while. As a reminder that wanting something is okay. But wanting it so much that you become greedy and can't see the dangers. Believing only what you want to believe, even when you know better. Well, that's plumb foolish. Today I learned how easily some people can be fooled. The people of Fort Carrium were fooled because they wanted something so much they didn't stop to think of what it might cost them. Like the fly who was trapped by the spider, they were caught in the web of their own greed. It's all right to want something, just so long as you don't want it so much that you become greedy and thoughtless. <laughs> <laughs> 